Alright, so today we're gonna flush or bleed a water tank and you would do this if you have discolored water. Here you can see I ran the tub and you can see the water is a little bit brown. So this would be a reason why you would flush or why you would bleed the water tank. And typically a water tank looks like this. These are very conventional, a lot of people have them. And why would you flush a water tank? First of all, you could have sediment or you can have rust as well. Flushing is really probably gonna work for sediment a little bit better. Uh, we'll get into the rust situation. but uh, if you have any of these, you might try flushing the water tank. If you're not sure if your water is discolored, you can do what I did here. Just get a white rag and let the uh, hot water run on top of the white rag. And then you'll see if it's spotting or not. So before you begin to actually flush the water tank, what you want to do is this little black knob. You want to go ahead and press it down. Turn it left into off. And then here you can see we have the drain valve. And this is what we're going to use to drain our water tank. Make sure the hose is properly connected and it's long enough where you can drain this safely, maybe outside. Before you turn on the drain valve, what you want to make sure is that you turn off the cold water supply to the tank. And once we do that, we're going to let the remaining water inside the tank flush out. Now we can go ahead and turn off the cold water supply to the tank. And basically you just turn it to the right to turn it off. And this right here is the feeder to the tank as you can see. And then the other pipe is the hot water supply to the house. So we're just basically turning off the feeder, the cold water feeder to the tank. We're going to drain the tank and we don't want new water coming in. So we're going to drain this completely. So now we're ready to drain our tank. And I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to turn this valve to the left. And you're going to hit the water. There it is. Your drain valve might look a little bit different than mine. In my case, it's one of these where you have to use a flathead screwdriver. So now that we have the drain valve turned on, you can see that all that rusted, discolored water is coming out. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and drain this in a safe area. And you want to drain the tank completely. So once the water stops and there's no more water in there, what we're going to do again is we're going to go ahead and turn on the cold supply water to the tank. We previously turned it off. Now we're going to turn it back on. And once we turn it back on, we'll let it run for five to ten minutes and let the water uh, clear out so I turn on the valve you can see the water now is nice and clear I'm just gonna let that run for another five to ten minutes and then once that's done I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the drain valve like I'm doing here and you can hear it going off and now you can disconnect the hose and let the tank fill up and all you have to do now is go ahead and turn on your guest pilot and you can watch that video on my channel. So this might or might not help you with your situation, but we're going to go over why the water changes color and how draining or bleeding the water tank might or might not help you. So usually you get a lot of sediment from water wells and if there's pipe work being done outside and all of that, as you can see here, pools in the bottom. And when the cold water comes up, it kind of stirs all that up and then that gets brought into the hot water supply. So that's one of the ways that you get all this sediment and the water gets discolored especially if you have well water all that clay comes up on the water and pools at the bottom of the uh, water tank so another thing that we have here is the anode rod and this is what it looks like it's just a big rod made of aluminum and zinc and a lot of people don't know this but you're supposed to change this out every so often on these water tanks and what this does is all the minerals in the water will attack this rod instead of attacking the tank itself so the anode rod rod is sacrificed for the longevity of the tank but if you don't replace this anode rod what happens is once it's completely gone all the minerals are going to start attacking the tank and destroying the tank so flushing might initially help you if the anode rod itself is leaving sediment behind so the first few times that you actually bleed out it might work but eventually if the tank itself is completely rusted you're going to have to replace it so with that being said when it comes to sediment you can go ahead and bleed your tank you can go ahead and drain your tank and that might actually get rid of the sediment as with the rust sometimes draining might or might not work so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something if you did like the video let me know leave a comment subscribe put a like thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one